TTO Snoop. I heard it. Oh. Snoop death was kind of controversial too. Snoop was another um robbing ass nigga too. He was um party snatching was popular. I used to rob everybody for their buffs and rollies and shit like that. That's when TTO was on the rise. That's when they was in their prime. He ended up robbing some Strathmo cats. Right on the other side of Strathmo. Because Strathmo really divided. You got payroll on them side by serving the on down. All them niggas finkle niggas. Don't know them niggas on that side claim PA or shit else. They all finkle. As soon as you turn to your left on Puritan, it's the box. Niggas ain't claiming PA right there. There just ain't no Puritan shit. Now, some of them do if they closer to Puritan, like that first block. But everything after that block is six-mile blocks. Florence all the way down, they're going to be six-mile niggas. Oh, honey, be all the niggas. They know niggas claim PA. Now, all the niggas six-mile Bronx niggas, that's the Bronx. Hubble, Schaefer. Some say it go further, but I know a lot of them niggas from Hubble to Schaefer. PA to six-mile. That's a lot of Bronx niggas I know. So, he robbed some niggas outside of the Bronx, basically, you can say, because that's where band gang hung. Bronx, he was the TTO nigga, fuck with band gang. They was NPR at the time. They won band gang. This right when band gang was in the first start. They won even band gang then. It was 4 6 20 or some shit. The little niggas was doing their thing, but it wasn't no band gang. It wasn't no shit like that. It was TTO and NPR. They were robbing the shit out of niggas. But he robbed the nigga. And the nigga was like, damn, I want him dead. Woo, woo. Nobody could find a nigga because he wasn't hanging out. They see all these niggas outside. He ain't out there. Woo, woo. Nigga was smart. So it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> they got life work. And our hood ain't shit open at night. That's why I'm telling you it's so fucked up. Like, ain't no stories opening our shit at night. You got to go out the hood. To get something, what? either deep in Finkel, either you gotta leave your shit to go to Finkel, cause ain't shit open on PA. You gotta leave your shit to go to Finkel, or you gonna end up on Six Mile, which is everybody know that's where all the restaurants at. Ain't no restaurants really on Finkel. Yeah. Then there's so many different groups. You ain't trying to run into no stoop. You know it's a ninety percent chance I'm running into a nigga I don't fuck with on Finkel, cause every other block. It's a new group. So I know some of these niggas, niggas be fans. Like, nigga, you would be beefing with a nigga just because you dissed his favorite rapper or you smacked the fuck out of a nigga he look up to. Now nah, they just on, that's how the West Side works. Now nah, they just on his dick so hard. It's, it, it, it's smoke with that nigga. He shouldn't have touched, dog. So you were running to that. You just in the store and a nigga like, you beef with my, he ain't even his cousin, but you beef with my, he on tip all the way about it too. Might pop your ass. It's just like, nigga, be dick sucked out. So he went to, um, everybody know, like, if you hungry, the new wave fish and chicken had just came out with the lemon pepper shit. Remember, everybody wasn't doing this. New wave first dropped. That was the only restaurant open late. Everybody in my hood knew this. Like, if you want to eat late at night, like, don't take your stupid ass in there. For one, it's in the Bronx. Feel what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's out of bounds. And it's on six miles. At the corner of a main street, Hubble and Six Mile, two main streets. So it really not no telling who the fuck you about to see in this bitch waiting to order some fish and chicken. You feel know what I'm saying? So when he made the tweet, damn, I'm hungry. Everybody I knew was like, only one spot he going. One of the two. And it's New Year's Eve. Ain't shit open. But, it, but Coney Island on Six and Greenfield. And we know he's not going there. Why? He was too far from the Bronx. Everybody looking for this nigga. And New Wave Chicken, which was the newest shit. And he's like, bro, you about to get some chicken, bro. Guarantee. It's right down the street from where all them niggas standing outside at. It made too much sense. You feel what I'm saying? So Doggy Bone was smoking on them, was smoking with niggas. He like, man, fuck that. I want dog. Woo whoop. This hearsay again. Dog say, I want dog. Woo whoop. Mind you, they lived on Hubble. Dog peoples lived on Hubble. They didn't know he stayed on Hubble. They had no idea he lived, right? The niggas who group he was in knew, but they didn't know he was literally houses away from death. You feel what I'm saying? They thinking like, 
that nigga probably stay over here, but not over here. They didn't know, nigga. He a block away from you. I was like, literally, y'all right here. He right here. Literally, like, a backyard separate him. But he wasn't thinking that way either. He didn't see the niggas when he pulled up. He pulled up, got a gun clip from the niggas. They gave him the clip to his gun. He went and loaded that bitch up. They don't know the whole time he looking for dog. They never knew this. Like, now he coming to get this clip so he can finish dog ass up. Feel me? Damn. He got the clip from them and smoked they mans with it. Pulled up to them, got the clip, drove back around the corner. They sat in the car. He chilled. Little bro was smoking, talking to the nigga. Nigga like, man, I'm going to hit you back, dog. Hey, why the fuck is nigga walking by the front of the car? So little bro like, man, you lying. You bullshit. He say, bro, he's walking in front of the car right now. Looking at me. He's on up. I guess he coming from the new wave. He walking from the new wave chicken finna go back to Strathmore. It was right there. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? He probably walked up Strathmore, went the new wave, came back up Hubble just on some I'm catch a bitch. New Year's Eve, so he ain't think shit going on. And it's right before New Year's, so all the shooting finna go off. Ain't nobody about to think nothing about no shooting, no, no fucking gunshots because it's New Year's Eve. Exactly. So nigga, so nigga, he started walking. Dog say, I knew he ran track. He said, I knew he ran track. <laughs> so I knew I had to pop. I swear to God, he said, I knew I had to stop that bitch from running. He said, I knew that bitch wanted to. I used to play football with the nigga. He used to call him Speedy. He's one of the fastest niggas on the team. That's why he was so cold at snatching glass. Once he really grabbed her, he really gone. Like, it ain't no catching that nigga. Now you just sit here fighting 30, 40 niggas. Really for no reason. Because he's long gone with your shit. He ran. Nigga played football. Fast. Stupid fast. Like, the dog pulled up on him. Say so he took his legs out. He said the nigga still ran far. Like, took off across the shit, ran across the street, darted on the side of the garage and fell. He said he hopped out, walked over to the nigga. The nigga took the, um, I guess, the watch and the glasses or whatever the fuck he had that he had just took from dog. And then he took, like, you can have this shit, bro. Who the whoop fucking, I mean, he like, nigga, I ain't coming for that shit. So he took his shit off. Like, nigga, showed him who he was. So that nigga instantly started crying. Like, yeah. uh, started pleading. He said he just told his ass up. Dang. He ain't pick shit up, none of that. I think he grabbed it, some of the cheese, some of the shit that was near it, on the ground. Right. And I had no he ain't he ain't robbed more. Really just take shit. He just got the fuck on, jump back and whip. Cause he first popped at him from the whip, he said. The, the, yeah, he wrote him a letter home too. I said he wrote he wrote a letter home to the niggas too. Saying how he dropped all all that he sent the letter home. Ah. Is that serious? Fuck. They rushed him, I guess he told us like they jumped him while he was in the county. I, I wanted to ask you the, the Bronx area, is that that's a crip area? To my knowledge, it's mainly GDs. And Crips oh, too. Okay. Once you get towards the six mile, like deep towards six mile, six mile LA, yeah, Chris. Hey, like Road to 60, shit like that. Livernoise, Wyoming, all them niggas. 